I'm Bivin Sadler. I'm Wayne Woodward. And we are thrilled that you've decided to take this time series course. We share a passion for time series and we're glad that you're gonna share that passion as well. Um, once again, I actually, I came from the uh, stats department. Uh, Dr. Woodward recruited me to the stats department. I got my PhD from SMU back in 2014. And um, I had many, many, many classes uh, from Dr. Woodward, learned so much. Um, he's an amazing professor. He's actually been teaching and researching for 40 years. Um, he's now a professor emeritus. And uh, he had 16 years as the department chair in our stats department. And uh, he actually also wrote the textbook for this course. And many of the materials you see uh, now have been adapted uh, from the PhD uh, time series course in, uh, in the stats department. Um, adapted for here for the data science program. So uh, over to you, Dr. Woodward. Well, I want to tell you something about your uh, your instructor. Uh, Bivin uh, said he got his PhD in, in our department. We were so uh, pleased with him that we hired him immediately to stay in the department on the faculty. Thanks. And uh, he was on the faculty for s several years, and now he's working uh, with this on with, with the online program. Uh, but uh, recruiting Bivin was a little bit of a problem. Bivin is a uh, nearly professional or, or a professional level sand volleyball, volleyball player. And he lived in San Diego at the time. Uh, he came to the office, uh, to the department, uh, interested in our program. Uh, we thought he was going to probably accept our offer. We made him an offer to come join our program as a student. Uh, and didn't show up because he could not get himself off the beach in San Diego. Stayed there. That, that happened for a few years where he was just trying to decide whether or not to uh, give up the uh, sand volleyball to, to some extent to come and be a uh, professor. He finally decided to leave the beach and go to Dallas, which is not a sand volleyball capital, I guess, but has volleyball courts. There's some there. And uh, so, um, I remember one time in particular when we were recruiting him, we didn't have all the reference letters that we needed, so I called one of his professors, and I asked the professor, you know, how, what, was, what kind of student he was, and he said, oh, he was a good student. Sometimes he'd show up to class uh, with uh, sand all over his legs because he just came straight from the beach. But uh, we finally got him to come to SMU, and he, he got a PhD, as we knew he would, and um, he's a really good teacher. I mean. He is uh, the kind of teacher you want. He's full of enthusiasm. He wants you to succeed. Uh, you're gonna have a good time. Thanks, Dr. Woodward. That is, wow. Thank you. Okay, uh, for this course, back to this course, we, uh, as the course overview, um, you're, it's gonna be kind of Karate Kid style. If you haven't seen that movie, uh, highly recommend it, but it, it entails taking the fundamentals first, learning the fundamentals first, and then putting them together. So those first six or seven units, you're gonna be uh, looking at the fundamentals, really studying deep at the fundamentals, and then around uh, the midway of the course, you'll put those together. There'll be live session activities. There'll be concept checks along the way. Uh, make sure you're keeping up with that work and you're going to get a fantastic time series education. So that's basically the course overview. Uh, just keep up with that work. Remember those live sessions. Uh, code along with us in the uh, async sections and, uh, and make some friends. Get your peers together, get a study group, and you'll be ready to rock. This is going to be time series. This is Dr. Woodward and I. Here we go. Go it's ahead and fun. get started. It's Here we go. Fun. Awesome.